So it's been just about four years since your first mission to space. And I'm curious, how are you feeling as the launch date for this mission gets closer and closer? I'm starting to get excited. Uh, so we just finished our final exams before space flight. And it's a little bit hard to think about anything uh, except for the exams when you're getting ready for them. This, this is a really comprehensive set of examinations over the course of a week, multi-day exams, uh, any kind of spacecraft emergency, space station emergency. And so uh, it was kind of a nearest alligator theory. I was working hard on the exams. Uh, now that we're through those, I'm I'm really looking forward to to launch and to getting back up into space. Absolutely. On that same note, I know that you on the station as part of this mission will be working on a a number of really exciting science experiments, including a cardiovascular investigation and a study with the Cold Atom Lab. I'm curious, as someone with such a rich and diverse biology background. What science on board the station excites you the most? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to some of the experiments with uh, live cells. So we did some studies last time where we were culturing heart cells. Uh, some of the things we're looking at now are, can you look at tissue architecture, the, the stuff that makes up organs in space? Um, are we able to uh, culture things uh, that more resemble human organs? Can we build up delicate tissue structures in space? Uh, can we do what's known as bioprinting? Um, and what are the properties of microgravity that might make this uh, a different place or a different methodology to study these in space? I'm also super interested, uh, of course, in the microbiome of the space station. Uh, we'll continue some work with that and, and with DNA sequencing. Uh, sequencing allows you to really rapidly get a, a census, a count of all of the, the varieties of microbes that might be there. And uh, we've done some er we, early studies have been ongoing with the microbiome on space station. What we're looking to do now is this really high fidelity spatial and temporal study. So rather than taking two or three samples, we're taking thousands of samples on board. Uh, we can map the whole microbiome of the space station, which has been separate from Earth for 20 years. So I think whatever the result is, it's going to be incredibly exciting. Absolutely. So you will be launching um, aboard a Soyuz capsule, but with the success of Demo 2 and the impending launch date for SpaceX's Crew-1 mission, commercial crew launches for NASA astronauts like yourself are becoming ever more realistic, and we might be nearing the end of such Soyuz launches. And I'm curious how you feel about this um, unbelievable growth uh, within commercial crew and these these crude launches. Yeah, I think I think it's incredibly exciting. I'm really looking forward to welcoming the first operational commercial crew vehicle to station. Um, not just because it's it represents such a milestone in commercial crew, but I have some really good friends on that vehicle, so I can't wait to see them come across the hatch. Uh, I think we're going to always have this incredible partnership. We have uh, international partners all over the world. Uh, the space station is these modules that are joined together and, and we constantly work together. Um, so the commercial crew program just allows us to have uh, more presence on the space station, but it doesn't mean an end to the partnership. So we're constantly going to be working with our partners all around the world. That's one of the strengths of the space station. Absolutely. And I just have one real quick question for you um, left. You're one of a handful of women eligible to be chosen to be the first woman to land on the moon. How do you feel about being eligible for something like this? I think it's just an incredible honor every day when I wake up that I'm working for NASA. So, you know, I'm looking forward to this flight. I'm excited about the experiments that we're doing. Uh, and I think in any way that any of us get to participate in a lunar program, I think we just count ourselves lucky that uh, we're born in an era where we have human exploration of space. I mean, what a what a great time to be alive. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Kate, so, so much. Absolutely. Great to talk to you.